Today I'm going to talk about the CV2X uh, Technology Evolution Interactive Simulation. We are going to start with a base case. And here we have three cars approaching an intersection. The intersection has red light for uh, two of the vehicles. One of the vehicles is approaching from the left side. The other one is approaching from the right side. And we, we have the emergency vehicle that's also approaching the intersection. And emergency vehicle has the right of way. So we are going to see everything from the viewpoint of the emergency vehicle, but this type of scenario is applicable to any intersection and any type of vehicle. Between the emergency vehicle and the uh, vehicle that's approaching from the left, there is heavy obstruction. As you can see, the emergency vehicle is approaching and it has the right of way. We have uh, the left vehicle, which we call obstructed vehicle, and the right vehicle, which we call visible vehicle in this case. Emergency vehicle has clear vision of the visible vehicle. And as you can see, the visible vehicle is pulling to the side of the road, but the vehicle that is approaching from the left side is misbehaving and is overrunning the red light, which is causing a traffic incident. So now we are going to see how this can be avoided with CV2X technology. I'm going to run through the same scenario, but I'm going to enable CV2X for all three of the vehicles. So let's enable CV2X and let's see how this uh, accident can be avoided. As you can see, as soon as I enable the CV2X, there is a target range that's um, calculated for these vehicles based on their speeds. And for all the vehicles, we have 25 miles per hour. So as soon as the emergency vehicle enters the target range, which is shown with these white circles, the left vehicle the vehicle from the left side and vehicle from the right side are detected at the same time. And this can be done reliably because of the number of retransmissions. As you can see, the vehicle from the left side uh, doesn't have a clear line of vision of the emergency vehicle. So we have a more number of transmissions to make sure that we can detect reliably. So the emergency vehicle starts tracking both the vehicles but obstructed vehicle speed is not changing. So as a result of this, we see that there's a, a, weak, a warning message that's displayed on the dashboard, and it starts braking. And came, it comes to a safe stop, uh, safe stop and safely proceeds through the intersection. Now I'm going to change the speed for the obstructed vehicle to 45 miles per hour. And, um, when the uh, speed of the vehicle changed, you can see that the target range also increases. As soon as the emergency vehicle enters the target range for the obstructed vehicle, it's able to detect it. One thing that to highlight here is uh, the radio conditions are more challenging. So we get more number of transmissions in this case, and we are able to, able to reliably detect the vehicle that's approaching from the left side exactly as it enters the target range. And the uh, emergency vehicle gets the warning that obstructed vehicle is not slowing down. It comes to a full uh, stop and proceeds through the intersection safely. To make this case more interesting, we are going uh, to add two non-CV2X vehicles into the scenario. And this is to show that even with limited deployment, we can still get benefits of the CV2, uh, CV2X technology through sensor sharing. The non-CV2X vehicle that's approaching from the left side is going to misbehave. As soon as the, the emergency vehicle enters the target range, it's able to detect and track all the vehicles. And in this case, the a vehicle that's approaching from the left side, the non-CV2X, is misbehaving. And it also has that information through sensor sharing because the CV2X vehicles are able to detect and share that information with the emergency vehicle. So the emergency vehicle comes to a full stop and then proceeds through the intersection safely.